Hi there, everybody. This is Mary over here. And this is Nicole. We are both local Metro West business owners, avid networkers, and supporters of our local community. My motto has always been shop local, support local, give local. We can't really do that physically right now. However, we kind of reinvented ourselves and uh, doing this the virtual way and hearing your stories. And uh, we're very excited. <laughs> so Nicole is the owner of Photo Fabulous U, where she and her team make superstars on LinkedIn. Her business is located in Westboro, Mass. And Mary is located in Hopkinton. She runs uh, two social uh, online businesses. They're online, right? Yeah. So, and- uh, They are now. And, yeah. <laughs> Especially right now, yeah. Um, she dresses men for one, and she also helps people with their hair bows. Excellent. So we are super excited to welcome Patrick Sansonetti today to our little show. Hi, Patrick. Um, <laughs> So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read Patrick's bio so I don't mess anything up. Um, Patrick is the co-owner of Carol Kitchens, Carol with an E, Kitchen and Bath Design Studio. He has been running small local companies throughout his career, starting his first company when he was 25. Patrick's talents include customer service, sales, business development, team management, and marketing. Patrick grew up in Hopkinton and moved back to town in 2006 with his wife, to raise his two daughters who are now 14 and 11. So welcome again, Patrick. Awesome. Yeah, I'm very excited to have you here, Patrick. And I, I can't uh, wait to hear more about what's going on in your world right now with, uh, with this pandemic. So, um, you, uh, so it's bathroom and kitchen uh, design. Do you do any, anything else uh, in the home, like any other projects? You know, we focus just on the kitchen and bathrooms. That's our specialty. Um, we work on, you know, optimizing space layout, really working on the interior design, giving people architectural advice. Ultimately, we sell cabinets and countertops, uh, but it's really the service that Carol's provides that sets us apart. You know, most of the time, we like to call it, we are, we're in the kitchen mediation business, and we're working between spouses to make sure they're, you know, ultimately coming to a conclusion on what they want in their, in their remodeling efforts. So I have to jump in here. Uh, we bought a new house in July and um, decided to rip up the floors. It's an antique 1860s house and decided to rip up the floors in hopes that there would be beautiful wide pine underneath. That's what the contractor thought they were. They were extremely damaged and there were holes down from the kitchen into the basement. In the process of taking them out, they took out two of our kitchen cabinets and we were at a point of what do we do? Try to fix these or demo the kitchen. And that's where Patrick came in and saved the day. Um, so I'm sure he'll talk more about customer service, but we had not planned to renovate our kitchen and we had five kids and we could not be without a kitchen for months on end. So um, I, I just, we had an amazing experience from a to Z, uh, the customer service was was awesome. So just had to put that plug in there. Thanks, Karen. Yeah. yeah, and the kitchen is really the most important part in the house. <laughs> it always brings everybody together when, when I'm having my party. So I'm telling them, like, go in the living room, sit down. It's like, no, they want to hang out in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, more, more so now than ever, your, your kitchen is your restaurant now, especially now. Um, and so we're getting a lot of phone calls even now in the, in the state that we're in about people that want to optimize the space they're in, you know, sort of eventually start to remodel a project uh, and they're just looking for some advice on what to do. That's uh, that, that was exactly my question. I was going to ask you like, how, how has it changed for you in this, in this world right now? So you, you are busy. It looks like. Yeah. You know, because we sell cabinets and countertops, uh, Carol Kitchen and Bath falls into the essential business category. So we can stay open. We almost have to be. You know, you can imagine if you started a remodeling project back in February or March and you're waiting on cabinets and countertops to get your kitchen uh, finished up. You know, maybe you gutted it already and you don't have a functional kitchen. So obviously you're counting on Carol's to deliver the materials that you ordered a few months back to keep your project going and, and get yourself back to being able to cook. 
So we've, you know, we've remained fully operational. We obviously have minimized our staffing. Um, it's been a struggle to figure out how to deliver materials, um, get them inside homes. Obviously, people are reluctant sometimes to allow people into their homes. Um, but uh, what we're trying to do is just remain open to service customers. And we've been running with the skeleton crew for six days a week since it started. That's great. That's, that's great. You guys are still going, though. So that's awesome. Yeah. Just shifting, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not we're not getting a lot of new project starts. Obviously, you know, a lot of people are not going to really rip up their kitchen right now. Um, you know, the, the, the business is really fulfilling orders that previously took place. Um, that said, you know, once a day, twice a day, we'll get a phone call saying, hey, you know, when this is over, we'd really like to hit the ground running and remodel our kitchen that we've been stuck in for the last six weeks. And so, you know, it's a... It, yeah, it's a whole process, as you can imagine, and, and Mary went through it in terms of, you know, deciding on what door style and color and layout and features in your cabinets and, and then changing them and then changing them again. So uh, it takes a little while to, to get to the point where you're ready to order those materials. Yeah. So you started your list as well as like all the people that are going to get running once, once, uh, once we get the green light, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think for us, one of the most overwhelming, you know, so many people on Facebook and everything were like, oh, we'll just go to Ikea and, you know, measure your space and whatever. And, oh my God, that is not my strength. And, you know, to be able to support someone locally that came, Patrick came in with another um, guy that he works with and he knew the exact dimensions of every single cabinet. What would be the best use of the space? We have a very tiny kitchen. We came from a very large kitchen. So, um, It, you know, it was just overwhelming to think about how am I supposed to know what's supposed to fit where? So that was um, super helpful to us in the process. And I'm sure having people create that bucket list right now of what's working and what doesn't um, would uh, I'm digressing yeah. off our script here, but um, just some things to think about. You think, oh, I'll redo a kitchen. It is a lot of decision making. So I'm not good at that as my husband was. <laughs> Yeah, it's a puzzle piece. You know, there's a lot of pieces that are involved, not just the kitchen or not just the cabinets and the countertops. You've got to think about, do, do I move plumbing around? Do I move electrical around? Do I buy new appliances? Do I keep what I have? There's a lot of decisions to be made. So Patrick, what would you say has been the most challenging part for you personally or, you know, business-wise since the pandemic started? You know, I, I have a hard time remembering what day of the week is. I, you know, I think today's Wednesday. I think I only know that because we had this call scheduled. Um, but, you know, I guess for me personally, I just want to be able to relax and enjoy the spring and summer weather um, without all the doom and gloom that hangs over us. Um, obviously, that's going to take a while to, to, uh, to mitigate. But, um, you know, maybe on the business side, I guess I would say not having any predictability, you know, makes it hard to make decisions, you know, across the board, really. You know, for us at Carol's, it's, You know, when are customers going to need their materials? Do we have to hold them in our warehouse for an extended period of time? Or are they ready now? And, you know, how do we, how do we schedule deliveries? How do we get into people's houses? Are they going to let us in their house? Um, how do we adequately staff our showroom? We do have a retail showroom up in Woburn. Um, and we've kept it open, as I talked about before. Um, but, you know, very few people are coming in, of course. And we understand that. But we also don't want to be closed. Um, so, you know, just really having that predictability to make some decisions. That's a good point. No one's brought that one up, but that's certainly part of the puzzle of your business. Um, and do you have a tip for people who are stuck at home right now besides think about redoing your kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, like you said, Mary, I, I find it really rewarding to help local businesses, um, especially small local businesses, you know, We're all owners of those businesses. We're all worried. We're probably struggling. Um, not really sure what's going to happen going forward. Um, you know, I recently got takeout from Startline Brewery in Hopkinton, and it was just awesome seeing the owners there, you know, with the gratitude they had for the people that were coming in. And, uh, you know, that was, that was rewarding. Um, you know, I guess the way I keep my sanity is just exercising. Um, just being able to work out in the morning, whether it's online Zoom classes, through my local CrossFit gym or just on my own running. Um, you know, I recognize not everybody can physically work out. 
Um, but just, just to get out and move and move around rather than sitting on your couch or sitting in your house and, and, uh, and being still. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, it does something to you when you're out there exercising, breathing that fresh air or yeah, <laughs> getting out of breath. <laughs> so that's awesome. You're doing that, Patrick. Right. So I think that brings me to my, uh, my last question is like, what, what do you want to do when this is, when we do get the green light, so to speak, <laughs> besides like going crazy on the work part, but, uh, personally, personally. Yeah. You know, I want to be able to give somebody a hug or a handshake or a high five, you know, um, I hope we can do that again today, someday. Um, I've heard, you know, Oh, we got to stop doing handshakes. I don't really see that happening maybe for a certain period of time, but, um, I don't know. I miss that personal connection. Um, I also miss watching my kids participate in their after school sports and music lessons or acting, you know, supposed to help coach my 11 year old softball team. Uh, that's not going to happen. You know, they don't want me dancing on TikTok with them. That's for sure. So, you know, whatever new normal comes back, I hope to be able to do some of those uh, things, whether it's just watching or participating as well. Maybe if you put your leprechaun uh, outfit on, they might let you dance. And <laughs> <laughs> then I would definitely not be allowed. <laughs> I was going to say, you no, might no. go viral. I, <laughs> that's true. They might get more likes for that one. Awesome. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for hopping on today and uh, sharing. Um, when this is all done, your information will be listed in the post so that people can mo learn more about you and Carol Kitchens and Bath Design. We hope everyone takes a closer look around their house and thinks about what upgrades they might want to do. And if you need them, definitely reach out to Patrick. Um, if you would like to help support a local business, please share, like, and comment. Check back weekly because Nicole and I are introducing new businesses, tips, and uh, stories all the time. And um, we would love for people to start using our special community hashtag, hashtag support 495. And if you know someone else who is interested in getting featured, please definitely have them reach out. So to conclude, I would just like to say, let's continue to shop local, support local, give local. And in the meantime, stay healthy, strong, sane. And fabulous. <laughs> awesome. Excellent. Thank Great. you. Thank you, guys.